India is a unique model of development. We, the East, East Asian model, which you're so familiar with, export your way, start from low value, move to a high value. India has a more service-oriented model, a more domestic economy. Explain our model to you and what do you think we get right and what do you think we're getting wrong? No, I'd say that in terms of that, there's no doubt that to create mass employment, you still need manufacturing to do better. And there's no reason why manufacturing and the share of the economy should stagnate around 14 to 15 percent. So yes, services is something we, we, we can do. And maybe we can't take manufacturing to 25 percent of GDP, like some of these successful East Asian countries took. But we still have it at 14 to 15 percent. At the end of the day, this is still a very tough country on the ground to do business in. The kind of regulatory state, the kind of government interface you have to do to, uh, and the ecosystem you have to deal with is still a very difficult nation. So in fact, even most foreigners are quite happy to give capital to local entrepreneurs and tell them you figure this out. But there's a big premium they pay to do that. It's still a very tough place on the ground to do business. Since in. you watched Delhi for so long, and I have watched it too, I find it very frustrating that there's no right-wing party in India in terms of economic ideology. Absolutely. There used to be a Swatantra party, if you remember, <laughs> yes. uh, which is right-wing in ideology and believed in free markets. This country doesn't really believe in free markets yet, does it? No, in terms of, I think there's no party yet to like, articulate that. And I think that this policy, no one's come up with a cogent policy how to articulate that. And the only time we have carried out major reforms is when we have been in some sort of a crisis mode. So I think that that's just who we are. That's what I told you at the outset too, which is that Therefore, I never expected India to grow at 9, 10%. In fact, when I wrote my first book, as you may recall, back in 2012, at that point in time, there was a lot of hype about BRICS, about India. And I sort of you know, tried to puncture that a bit by saying these BRICS are broken, it's all overhyped. And, and even for India, on which I was relatively more optimistic compared to the Brazils and Russias in that book, I, at that point in time, I had said that it's impossible for India to grow at 9, 10%. And, uh, and then 8% was considered the floor. We, we all thought 8% was the God-given right. Now we have moved that down to 6%. Right. So in terms of, even though it's been a great decade for India in many ways, particularly from a stock market ways, let's not lose the fact that at a pretty low per capita income, we're still growing at about 6% or so, whereas these other miracle economies grew at, grew 10, at 9, 10, uh, like 11, 12%.